Greetings from Indian Medical Association and Emedi News. Welcome to our show, Chat with Dr. K K. We have with us Dr. V C Vilayathan Pillai, who is the past National President of Indian Medical Association. Thanks to be in our show. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Dr. Pillai. Lot of people have they don't want to become members of IMA. That's we have right. over seven lakhs yeah. doctors and only two point two lakhs becoming members of IMA. Yes. And people prefer to go to a specialist organization rather than becoming a member of IMA. Yes. Though the Medical Council of India has clearly written yes. that every doctor should yeah. get associated with associations. Correct. So why? It, let me see. I'm a budding doctor. Yes. I've just finished my MBBS. Yes. I finished my internship. Yeah. Why should I become the member of Indian Medical Association? The thing is that uh, people are not joining IMA. Most of them because IMA is escort. No reach to them because they don't know that there is an organization like Indian Medical Association. If when they come to know about it, most of them are joining it because otherwise uh, those specialists who are there, they probably because of the academic interest which they are having, they are going to that specialist organization. So why, why why can't we go to our state medical council? Every brand, every state has a state medical council. Yes. Why the local state medical president of the association? Have a tie up with the state medical council, yeah, and pursue them, That's pursue a them to give them, a, give them, give given. them a list, give them an email list, give them addresses. We approach them, or we can convince the council. Yes, because in every council we will have IMA members. They can convince the council that to stimulate everybody, to ask everybody. Give them a we are doing it also. Even government of Karnataka has issued an order telling all the uh, people who are registering with the medical council there have to become members of the Indian Medical Association also. Just like uh, UK and all those places, without being a member of the Indian Medical uh, that uh, British Medical Association, they can't register there also. Okay. Suppose suppose I'm convinced yeah. that I want to become an Indian Medical Association member. Yes. Okay. And by by culture, it has to be a that I will be member of a local branch, yeah. then state branch, and then IMA automatically. Yes. Okay. What are the benefits I get? No, because a lot of benefits are there. Okay, let's People see. do not know about that one. Okay. So one thing is, as far as the academic affair is concerned, Indian Medical Association conducts regular meetings. So in those places. So so if I if I attend a IMA meeting, yes, will I get a IMA accreditation hour? So uh, that def certificate. Def definitely, nowadays it is there. Earlier it was not there. So one will be that, that I will get a, a, a CMA which is accredited by IMA. Yes. Which is recognized by the State Medical Council. Yes. And the, the authenticity has been approved by the Indian Medical Association. That means credible. Uh, right. It will not be right. Medical Council also approves the Indian Medical Association. So it will be a credible CMA. Yes. That's one. So I get and CMAs. Particularly local medical councils, that is TC Medical Council in uh, Kerala, uh, Tamil Nadu Medical Council, all those medical councils will approve those things. And accreditation will be taken and given. Taken for granted. Yes. So one will be medical education. Yes. Second will be. Uh, so otherwise, also we are having IMA CGP. IMA. College of General Practice. So we have where the undergraduates way. can have their own groups, group discussions, continuing medical education, all those things. So we will yes. have a CGP branch and the AMS branch. Uh, AMA, the AMS Academy of Medical Specialties <coughs> branches are also there. We are doing it. Then we are having our journal, Indian Medical Association journal, which is an accredited journal and indexed journal. So the subject also people can follow the things. They can also write and uh, converse with other people also through the, those mediums. And moreover, in the various states, they are having uh, um, the journals in vernacular as well as in English, in which they can have academic matters discussed. And for the public also, we are giving vernacular uh, things are being here. These people so can we be have, involved. We in. have 2.2 lakh doctors. Yeah. Do we have? Electronic reach to everybody every month? No, no. That we can't tell because it depends upon the doctors who are having that electronic uh, awareness. But many of the our doctors do not have that awareness. Then uh, the reach also is not there in various parts of our country because the uh, differences in villages. Okay. In the what about if, if, if a patient troubles me? Yeah. If a patient is uh, falling, is the patient has. Uh, Troubling me and going for a frivolous complaint, yes. or he is uh, uh, coming and shouting at me. What protection IMA will give me? The Indian Medical Association, because if, if you let know this, Indian Medical Association will come to rescue. Not only that, we go up to the Supreme Court 
for helping the, the uh, doctors in case where there is a frivolous complaints and frivolous uh, cases are being brought. So that means IMA can also help me legally in the solving my cases. National Professional Protection Scheme is there. That is a, a national one. Moreover, in various states, they are having their own systems. In Kerala, we are having a national professional protection scheme with the Kerala. Tamil Nadu, they are having. So, almost all the states, they are having their own things as well as at national level also. So, uh, this is a thing which will protect the doctor. I am a young MBBS, just yes. passed my MBBS. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, I am looking for a job. Is yes. there any uh, any procedure where IMA can help me in finding yeah, a suitable job? It depends upon the states where it is. Because many states, probably, they are not having that facilities. But some of the states, they are having that facilities. For like uh, Kerala, uh, that state is having a special uh, wing also. P, uh, professional uh, uh, equipment protection wing. In hmm. which uh, doctors are given jobs, their job opportunities are being advertised to the members and uh, they can ask through that scheme, they can become members. That type of things are also available for uh, doctors to get into the, uh, not only that, uh, to the any particular job concern, in, even in uh, going to the foreign countries also, some of the organizations, because in government, uh, Indian Medical Association is a federation. Uh, so, various states have different uh, types of things. Advanced states like uh, Kerala, uh, Tamil Nadu, uh, Maharashtra, Gujarat, uh, all those uh, states, all these facilities are available. Every there is a, there is a uh, epidemic, suppose a yeah. new disease comes, yes. the chikungunya came, the yes. dengue came and there is an epidemic yeah. and I find that the new disease, I am not well aware about it yes. because it was not, I didn't uh, read about it in MBBS. Yes. Do IMA also comes out with guidelines? Definitely, definitely H1N1, when it came, people were not at all aware about it. So, Indian Medical Association only made it aware because we bring uh, academicians to the various forums and various meetings and they deliver the messages to them and with the result people come to know about it. For example, my, um, I myself was not aware of it immediately. The, I uh, took uh, Dr. Saini from uh, the head of, he is a present uh, general secretary in uh, uh, IMA. I took him there to Kerala and he delivered one uh, lecture there and people became aware and because of that Training also was be being given on H1 in one, special training was given to others. So, these uh, people go to their branches and uh, uh, taught them. So, similar thing happened in uh, Chikungunya as well. Chikungunya was uh, unknown disease as far as uh, uh, southern India was concerned. So, we had to bring others uh, specialist uh, list there and give the our people information. So, make them aware about it and give them methodology and wherewithal so that they can do things. You are asking uh, about the epidemics also. So, when the epidemics come, uh, Indian Medical Association gets involved in it with, uh, along with the government. We join with the government. The, we, even uh, sometimes we have to uh, uh, tell the government about that these are the things to be done. We advise the government and uh, get things done so that the control of the epidemics are being Okay, I am, I am being invited for a lecture. Yes and uh, I want to deliver a lecture all over. Yes. So, do I have some site or IMA helping me in, in the statistical data, in the health statistics where they can help me in producing that lecture or if suppose I want to do a research, I have done some data yeah. and I, I, I don't know how to do statistics, yeah. I don't know how to produce it to the people. Yeah. Is there a wing in IMA who can help me in compilation of data? Uh, uh, standard lecture which you can pick it up and then start delivering it. It is coming up. We are having to uh, it is coming up now and the facilities are available. It depends upon the states where there are. Many of the branches in cities, they are having libraries of their own wherein all these facilities are also being provided. Uh, for example, uh, Kuchin in uh, Kerala, Trivandrum. Uh, so, it is up to the states to start. States. It is up to the states. So, so, so if, I, if I become a member of Indian Medical Association, yeah. I will be a member of IMA, I will be a member of a state branch, I will be a member of the local branch. If I am owning a hospital, I can affiliate myself with the Hospital Board of India who will help me in quality control. Yes. I can also become a member of IMA College of General Practitioners. Yes. I can also become a member of IMA Academy of Medical Specialities. Yes. I can also become a member of IMA AKN Sena Institute where I can get training. Uh, online training programs and get advanced studies with that. So, many, so many things are there, things are there. And, I know of, and overall if I die I get some benefit, my family gets some that's benefit, that's if I have a medical legal case that. there are benefits that's for that. Medical legal and case I, I, I don't think so any other Social security scheme is there for the So, family. I don't think so any other speciality organization provides all these benefits. No, 
No, not at all. Not only society organization is in medical side, even other ways you look to any, any other professional body. You know, the, the things which are being provided by the Indian Medical Association is not done by any other professional organization also. For example, social security scheme, if one of the members dies, unfortunately he is uh, dying, then the spouse uh, is almost getting uh, so much of amount. For example, in uh, Kerala scheme, they get uh, 45 lakhs now. The family is looked after by the Indian Medical Association. It is not only the Indian Medical Association members, so family is also looked after. So similarly, in cases of diseases, when there is disease, uh, people have, can have uh, cancer and all those things. For the treatment also, we are having, some of the branches are having health schemes, where through which you join that one, register your name and uh, they look after your these things. Any, any private hospital you can go uh, to certain amount. For example, some of them give one up to one lakh for one disease, some of them give up to two lakhs. So similarly, that also is being looked after by the Indian Medical Association. Not only that, the financial aspect also are being looked at. Mutual benefit schemes are run by the Indian Medical Association where they join and they give, uh, uh, subscribe uh, regular amounts and the Indian Medical Association provides them with uh, uh, necessary loans and all those things, whatever they want, even if to, they want to establish uh, their practice and a hospital. That to, to that extent, the Medical Association goes. So that's why I was telling, no other organization in the world, I am challenging, it's not only in India, the world has got that much of reach to the members and uh, interest in the members and looking after the members is done by only Indian Medical Association. So what Dr. Pillai says is that after you have done your MBBS, you want a social life, you want cultural evenings, you want education, again and again, you want to update your knowledge, you want to know about the drugs banned, you want to know about the new drugs introduced, you want to save yourself from medical legal problems, you want to open a hospital, you want regular uh, uh, general practitioners programs, specialist programs, you want to update your knowledge and do some courses which are online. For all that, for all that, you need to come back and extend your family from your family to a IMA family. Join our IMA family and you will not regret it. Thank you very much, Dr. Pillai. Okay. And that's Thank all for today. We'll come back with uh, uh, one more show. Till that, goodbye. Thank you.